Hey everybody, this is Sean from ASET Education. What you're looking at is one of the hardest CELPIP reading passages ever online. And we have this now, we have secured this. So if you want this reading passage, all you gotta do is email me, info at aidseteducation.com. The email is in the description, just mention the reading passage. I'll send it to you all four parts, and it is something so challenging that you should really try this. The reason is simple. Whenever we have difficult reading passages or anything, listening, speaking questions, writing questions, you always have to practice them. Because if you practice things that are harder than the real exam, you will do much better in the real exam. And actually, some exams are exactly like this. Hell of hard. So let's discuss today how to answer some of these difficult questions, but if you haven't done this passage before, email me first, get this passage first, then go back to this video because we're going to discuss some questions and some answers. So attempt this on your own first, then we will discuss some of the questions. In this video, I only have time for part one. So I've picked some really difficult and challenging questions, uh, specifically 3, 7, 8, 10, and 11. So we'll discuss that right now. Uh, but once again, do this passage first on your own, then come back here. Okay, so now, assuming you have read that and attempted that, let's discuss. We have this part one where it's reading correspondence. Supposed to be the easiest part, but it is actually very tough. So you have a letter written to Kristen by Kara or a caro, however you pronounce it. You have a bunch of questions, okay? So you have multiple choice first, and then of course you have that response letter written by Kristen to Kara. So let's discuss a few questions that I picked here, which I found extremely difficult and worth of uh, worthy of discussion. Question number three, okay? So it's talking about the bus stops, and this is exactly how we're gonna start our questions, of course, with number one and two, but with three, you read the question first. I always say that, read the question first. Read the keywords and also read the uh, paraphrasing in your brain. For example, bus stops and Canada cannot be paraphrased. So they're pretty reliable keywords. We'll use them and go up. But if I was doing question four and I see the word usually, instead of usually, they might say occasionally, they might say uh, not very often, and that can be paraphrased. So sometimes you gotta paraphrase in your, in your head before you go to the passage. Sometimes you just have good keywords like we have here in number three. So we're not gonna look at the options because that's not the way we do uh, answers. We look at the question first, then go in the passage because three of the four options are gonna be wrong. So just look at the question. So we're looking at bus stops and we're looking at Canada, something about Canada. All right, so this is about Korea and we're talking about Derek and so on, nothing about Canada, nothing about bus stops. Now we have hot temperatures, we're talking about weather and slip or fall, okay. Uh, the Canada is mentioned. All right, there's no Canada there. Okay, good. So what is about what is being said about Canada? Uh, the city is doing a lot, and we are doing all we can to not slip or fall on the ice. Uh, no one would bet against the ice in Canada. Okay, so ice is pretty strong here. No one would uh, win against the ice. Like the ice wins in Canada. Okay, where's bus stop? Let's see. Once again, the city is contributing in a way by creating some heated bus shelters. That's good. Okay, so bus stops, bus shelters. Now, uh, this is obviously within Canada. They're creating heated ones. Um, so now she, she says, you will find especially useful. Okay, uh, commute needs to be made more comfortable for the winter months. So she says, you know, it should be comfortable. It should be heated, probably. It's almost like we assume that we're like other countries by keeping some bus stops outdoors but we clearly could use a model tweak. So she's saying that some bus stops that we keep are outdoors, but we should have a model tweak, which means maybe have bus stops indoors or maybe have them heated. That's a lot of information. I wanna read more, but it's too much for my brain. So I'm just gonna go down and look at the options. What I did also here, as you can see, I ran through paragraph one and majority of paragraph two because I didn't find keywords or something close to keywords. When I did find them, when I found Canada and the bus shelters, I was reading more slowly and trying to explain to myself also what I'm reading. So I really understand better. Now with all that information in our brain, let's go to question number three. So bus stops in Canada are heated. Not really, not all of them are heated, right? Um, she's saying we're doing that now and we need to do that because mostly we have it outdoors. That's what I understood from it because she said, we think like we're okay because other international countries do it, but we shouldn't have it outdoors. That means they're clearly not heated, not all of them. 
we need to model the ones internationally. She said we should not do that because we're not like out to other countries. We're pretty cold. Are mostly cold inside. Reasonable assumption. Okay. Keyword is mostly. So we will look at that because it is cold inside for sure. That's why they're heating it up. Uh, mostly cold. We'll, we'll check that out because these kinds of keywords are tricky. Okay. That's where you can lose marks are all being upgraded by the city. I didn't find any information of all. That's also a keyword. Are they all being upgraded? No. Uh, cities contributing by creating some heated bus shelter. So definitely not all. Now, all I have to make sure is that this is mostly, they are mostly cold, cold inside. Uh, let's see, does it say anywhere they're mostly cold inside? If you guys check it out, uh, it doesn't say mostly. Okay, so here the problem is, uh, you would get into a lot of traps because mostly it's not mentioned. Okay. Um, you there's also it's not saying that it's all being upgraded by the city. So this keyword is tricky too. And internationally matching keyword, you know, we want to give this answer, but it's not really the same thing. It's the opposite. And all bus stops are not heated. Obviously, they are being heated. So by process of elimination, these A, B and D will be eliminated and we will remain with C. Although we don't have the word mostly written, it is the most reasonable assumption because other options are just not there at all. So the answer is C, that is the correct answer. And you can see how tricky it is, not very clear. Still, it would have been better if they mentioned mostly they, did, they didn't. So we have to use a reasonable assumption. So um, what I would say again is if you haven't read this passage, uh, passage sorry, uh, you can always email me, get this passage or pause the video in different parts. Do all these questions first, one to six, um, and then you wanna go to seven, to 11 because 7 to 11 can only be understood if you have done questions 1 to 6. So again, guys, first email me, get this PDF, and then you can uh, look back at this video. Okay, so now this person responded. She says, hi, Kara, you are crazy. I was reading things twice to catch up with all your thoughts jumbled into one letter. All right, not a very important statement. Moving on. Well, you're right that the ice scene in Korea is, and then these are the options. The ice scene in Korea is very comparable to Canada, uh, is less slippery than Canada, is nothing like Canada, can be betted against. Okay, so there was something about ice, right? Let's see. By the way, there was a mention of uh, food scene and the question says ice scene. So that's how the examiner is trying to confuse you. There's, there's no relationship here, but you might go back there, but it's just about food, not about ice. Ice is being mentioned somewhere here. Okay, so uh, maybe that's why the winner is a killer winner. So we're going to look at this paragraph because it's talking about the cold. Don't get me started on the mountains of snow that are piling up. So lots of snow, lots of winter. The city is doing a lot uh, and we're all doing all we can to not slip or fall on the ice. No one would bet against the ice in Canada. Okay, so it is a lot like there's lots of ice and you cannot bet against it, which means the ice wins. So you see here in the question, it says... Uh, the ice scene in Korea can be betted against. Very confusing because now the person is trying to say that the Korea scene of ice is not very good. So uh, you can bet against it because ice doesn't win in Korea. The thing is, the word bet is mentioned for Canada, not for Korea. We don't know if you can bet against the ice in Korea or not. So this is a confusing one. Let's ignore it is nothing like Canada is the most reasonable choice because of course he was mentioning it's so cold, it's so uh, chilly in winters. And there's another thing, um, is uh, we, we wanna see, is it comparable to Canada or is it less slippery than Canada? So if you see this passage, paragraph one, there were some things about Korea's weather, it's warmer than minus five degrees and so on. There's nothing about ice here. So again, I have just very limited information to figure out the answer. And here, there's not there's no mention of who can be betted against or if Canada's ice is worse than Korea's ice. There's no clear sentence like that. But based on reasonable assumption from what's given about how terrible the ice is in Canada, we can say that in Korea, it's nothing like Canada. It cannot compare to Canada. It's less slippery. We don't even know. We have no information about if it's less slippery or not. There's just no mention of that. So what we're left with, with our reasonable assumption, is if we're saying the Canada Canada's ice is so difficult and people fall on that and you cannot bet against it, it's probably the Korean ice is probably nothing like what we have in Canada. Okay, let's move on. Number eight. So this uh, sentence starts here. 
I haven't been commuting much actually, as buses can be pretty crowded in Seoul. So life hasn't changed much. Okay, so before I get into the options, I'm gonna see something about her commute because she's mentioning something about her commute and uh, the answer is related to that because it's in the same sentence. Let's check out what she, uh, what the previous person was saying uh, in, in regards to commute. So there, this is all about weather and bus stops were mentioned here. So let's go here. Okay, so again, we're just looking at the relevant place where the answer might be. Once again, the city is contributing by creating bus shelters. You will find that specially useful. Oh, okay. You will find that specially useful. So you see, she's telling her friend that if there are heated bus shelters, you will find it useful, which means this person is gonna commute, obviously, because she is gonna find it useful. And then there are some side comments about commute. But this sentence is so hidden, you will find that especially useful. No one is gonna pay attention to it. And yet the answer comes from here. Okay, so um, it's gonna be, I haven't, the, the lady who's responding, I haven't been commuting much actually, as buses can be pretty crowded in Seoul. So, not the usual, this one, sorry, this one right here. Not the usual is gonna be her answer because she is not commuting now, she used to commute, so now it's not the usual. You see how difficult the answer is, how it's manipulated and it's mentioned in the most secret way possible. So we wanna pay attention to these kinds of things. Nine is a little easy, let's look at number 10. I don't think, I don't ever think, now there's no good keyword here, uh, so I have to read the options now, although I read the keywords first, but gotta read the options because there is nothing here. So, I don't ever think your thirst for entertainment will die, keyword, I'll, I'll look at entertainment. You will find good deals on cars. Uh, good deals on cars, okay, we'll look at that, good deals on cars. You'll find good deals on DVDs, or the snowfall will lessen. Okay, so very different things. It might be all over, okay? It might be all over the passage. So let's have a look at that. I don't ever think your thirst for entertainment will die. Entertainment was mentioned somewhere here. So she was saying on top of cost savings, what I really need is a little entertainment in my morning commute. So this lady, the friend needs some entertainment in her, sorry, in her morning commute. So if the friend is responding, is it reasonable that she's gonna say, I don't ever think your thirst for entertainment will die. Yeah, very reasonable answer. Let's see something else. You will find good deals on cars. Okay. Let's see about cars. So with cars, she mentioned um, here that you, you want to again skim through the whole thing, get to the cars part. Getting a good deal is mentioned here, and cars were mentioned somewhere as well. Uh, one more thing, due to the pandemic, the interest rates are really down on cars. Getting a good deal could have been very possible if cars were not selling like pancakes. So cars are on low prices, low interest rates, but they're selling like pancakes, so we cannot find a good deal on cars, okay? Um, they're selling like pancakes, but I guess I'm late to everything, sigh. So she cannot get a car because she's late to, to the deals. So will her friend say, I don't think you will find good deals on cars? Maybe, but she said also a keyword ever. So she said you can never find good deals on cars. The friend is just late to this incident, to, to this event of low interest rates. It's not likely that she's never gonna find a good deal on cars. There's a whole lifetime to find that. So this is very tricky. It is mentioned, but actually it's not mentioned in a way that it's not something that's ever gonna be possible. The keyword here to look at is ever. That's how examiners trick you. So you gotta focus on every little keyword. So that is not the answer. Easily it can be thought of the answer, but it is not. You'll find good deals on DVDs. Once again, skim through. Where are DVDs mentioned? They are mentioned right here. Last passage. Paragraph, last paragraph. So she's mentioning the snow. Okay, let's go to the DVDs. As you can see, I'm planning everything, okay. Oh, and I just got the latest edition of all the Korean DVDs that we watch. Still though, I'm curious to know if you find deals cheaper than $10 per DVD for those dramas, let me know. She's asking if you find cheaper deals. It's not mentioned that she's never gonna find a good DVD deal. So finding good DVD deals is not mentioned. And the other answer is, I don't ever think the snowfall will lessen. And we saw the snowfall paragraphs or uh, information there was nothing about snowfall being less or more. Uh, she just said, the previous friend said, it's a lot of snowfall. So um, 
we have this information for sure. This friend was interested in entertainment. She mentioned that what I really need is a little entertainment in my morning commute. So she really needs it. There's no indication that she will ever stop needing it. Therefore, the most reasonable thing we can think is she's probably every time thirsty for entertainment and that's something that she will need for a long, long time. There's no indication of the fact that she will not need it. So we can make a reasonable assumption that this is something she will need for a long time. And that is why even though other answers are kind of mentioned, this is the one that is really mentioned, even not 100%, but the closest one. And that's, that's again, the trick. You got to find the closest one. Sometimes it's two or three very close answers. I think entertainment and good deals on cards were very close, but the first one wins in this case due to just how, how similar it is, how you can relate to it more. Last question here. Why are you? Okay, this is, I love this one. So, uh, why are you? And then there's a, there are some keywords uh, here. After all, you're a hard worker. You deserve better. So there's something about her work. Okay. And why are you what? Okay, let's see. Let's go up and check her work stuff out. This is all about DVDs. This is all about commute. This is all about cold. The work thing is right here. Okay. So again, you would have to skim through it. Now, she's asking a friend, I heard the food scene in Korea is pretty good. It would have been nice if Carrie would let me have a vacation, but she and I had prior commitments. You know how work gets. This is very negative. You know, she doesn't get vacations, so she's not happy. She's like, you know how work gets. The answer, I'll tell you right now, is not too optimistic. So the friend is going to ask her, why are you not too optimistic? I mean, you're, you feel terrible about work. What's going on? So this is the correct answer, but there's one that is so close that most people answer. Why are you not being allowed to travel? Okay, so this might come from the idea that Carrie doesn't let her get vacations. So she said it would have been nice if Carrie would have, let me have a vacation. So you would think she's not being allowed to travel, but has that been mentioned that she's not allowed to travel? No, Carrie is not giving her vacations for now. It's not like she's banned from vacations. It's not like she can go to she cannot go to vacations after these commitments. It's just Carrie's not letting her have it now. It's not permanently disallowed. And just because of that very narrow information that is missing, you don't get to answer number one. The answer is gonna be number two, not too optimistic. That is the correct answer. And the other two options, you can easily see they are incorrect once you read it in more detail. So guys, that's how self is. Once again, we want to do our thing to read the keywords, paraphrase it, go up and find the answer. In response letters like these, you sometimes have to read the options just to go up and make sense of it more because sometimes keywords are not enough there. Uh, what I did in the, at the end was I looked at the thing before the question and the thing after the question to get a better idea and go up. So you can also do that as one of your strategies. But what I wanted to show you was how difficult some answers could be. They're so close together, you can almost think that they're both the same answers. And that's how you get confused. And honestly, it's sometimes unfair, but it is what it is. That's how the challenge comes up. And I hope with this video, you are able to deal with this challenge. If you haven't seen this PDF, email me. Link is in the description. I'll send it to you for free, no cost. All right. Talk to you soon, guys. Take care.